Yo, what's going on, guys? Lissandra top lane is an absolute menace. She has an auto attack range of 550. That is the same as a Vayne or Kai'Sa, and it's longer than a Teemo. Teemo's auto range is 500. So she does quite well against most matchups. For example, Darius Hook, you can't touch you really at all. For your rune setup, you have loads of options. I do prefer Fleet to speed up. It also, it's also a heal, so it keeps you alive in lane, gets you out of ganks. It helps you stay on top and you can hit him with a speed up, slap him with a Q. Then we have Presence of Mind for mana. We have Alacrity. I mean, you can go Tenacity. I find Alacrity helps out with farming. Then we have Coup de Grasse, a Band of Flow Transcendence with Attack Speed, AP, and Health. It's going to be a fun game. First item rush, you can go for Rod of Aegis or Malignance. It depends on the matchup. If they have a lot of poke, go Rod of Aegis. If they don't, Malignance is usually your go-to. So, for example, if I'm ahead of trend, we're definitely going to go Malignance. If we're going even, we'll go Rod of Aegis. Everything after that situational, things like Shadow Flame, Zhonya's, and Ramadan. Level 1, we can go Q or W against trend. Uh, I'm going to wait to kind of see what he does. If he was going to dash on me level 1, that having W would be kind of cool. Auto him, we go into Bush. We don't want to really miss the S to auto the enemy champions because then we'll fall behind. A lot of melee champions, what they try to do is get you to miss CS to where you, they actually have more gold than you do, and then they just end up resetting, and then you're kind of screwed. Got him with the Q auto auto. Don't want to miss this minion, so I'll cancel that last one. Got our W level 2. Against a ranged character, let's say it was like a Teemo top or a Vein top, obviously we would not go W level 2. We would go for an E level 2. But since Trinamira can... He's melee, he's got to get to us. Throughout the auto Q, get him with another auto. I really love the 550 auto range. It feels incredibly good. He should have gone for D shield. I don't think, I think he thought he was against his Zin Zhao top. And as long as we hold on to our E, we always kind of have an escape tool. I have my fleet ready. I'd rather fleet off of him. Fleet heals you way more off of champions than off of minions. Ah, oh, that sucks. Missed that minion there. Going with that auto. Two autos. Try to splash him there. The more we move, the more fleet we get. Like, the faster it stacks. Use that fleet speed up, run into him, force a reaction out of him. <clears throat> Speed up's incredibly useful for breaking tempo and feeding in mix ups. You throw the enemies off because they get used to your movement patterns and whatnot. Just dash away. Yeah, I'll just flash. I don't think Jarvan can kill her there. Diana ganks are incredibly hard to get away from. I'll just TP back. We should be able to recover from that situation, but man, yeah, getting away from Diana. So many dashes. I can roam over. Diana's already missing a lot of health. Gone with the WQ auto. Mmm, that situation went bad. Auto Q. Got him with the fleet. Speed up. Don't want to miss the minion, though. The Diana built out his lane really hard. I should have gotten a ward down, though. That's kind of my fault for dying to the gank you can't really control whether or not you get ganked that much but you can control whether or not you die to it if i'm going to be pushed up i need to have a ward down in pixel brush auto q auto auto w auto auto e auto auto q auto got it beautiful love that alacrity and coup de grasse feels really good Boy, oh boy, I love how balanced Fleet is on ranged characters. We can heal back off a turret here. We can push the wave with Qs. We have lots of wave clear, unlike a Vayne or Teemo top lane. Got our Q spam. And we do have a lot of survivability. It's just we needed to get a ward down. Auto Q auto. Got my R ready. I can head over for this, I guess. Stand here and auto him out. I have alacrity plus attack speed, so I can pinch off a lot of these. Auto Q, auto W, auto. That one was a fleet speed up. Nice. 
We'll go ahead and hit a potion here. Got him with that fleet auto for the bigger heal. Instead of autoing a minion instead. Got him with that Q as well. Mm hmm, that's bad. We'll get him with the R. We'll slow him right as he's coming out of it. Get him with the E. We should just push the wave here. Or take the, uh, those rift grubs is fine too. I can push the wave pretty fast on my own. Auto Q auto, beautiful. I can fleet heal off the turret. Diana's still messing with him for whatever reason. I really don't want to fight over that. I don't have health or mana. Let's hopefully my teammates can win that out. Nice. Zen and Jarvan clutched it. It would have been really bad for me to go. I would have missed out on two plates. And plus, if I went, then there's a good chance they just run away. And then I just still miss out on everything that I'm trying to get. Since we are winning lane, we'll go for Malignance. Malignance is huge. If you're not winning lane or if they have a lot of poke trade-off ability, like getting hit by GP barrels or Mundo Cleavers or something, then Rod of Aegis is fine to go for. It's incredibly inexpensive. After we have Malignance, probably if we're team fighting, we'll go Zonis. If we're not team fighting, we'll just push Shadow Flame. Auto Q, just leashing him. Got my little fleet speed up. Burn a little bit of mana. But basically, we don't want to use our snare on Trin until he commits. If he's just walking at us, we can just hit him and run away. We don't have to use our W until he commits to using a dash, essentially. Like there, I can get him with a W. Auto Q auto. Throw out another Q auto. He's going to want this cannon. Auto W auto. He tried to get it with his spin, but he couldn't quite find it there. He's getting butchered. He does have his R, so I doubt we could actually kill him here. It's just more of if we think Diana's going to gank top. Diana's probably going to be bought for drag. I missed my Q there. That's really bad. I'll go ahead and R myself. Jarvan's here, though. Trin burn ghost, but he still has his R. This is... Eh, got with the W. Auto Q. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> this Trin has no idea what to do. It's so funny. No one's ever played against Lissandra top before. <laughs> they don't know how to play against it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's pretty funny, man. Moving between autos, we'll get our fleet back up sooner. We're now up three plates on this guy. They probably think we're going to fall off, but we're really not. Auto into Q. Cancel out that out. And I'll just burn Q4. I don't want to miss it. Look at that fleet. 64 health. We're healing like crazy here. They just got dragon, so we know Diana's bot. We get him with an auto. He doesn't have much fury. Get him with another auto. Slap him with the Q auto. We just keep fishing him in, man. We have alacrity. Auto Q auto. Run away. Get him with two more. Auto E, didn't want to miss them both, but now I don't have abilities really here. I'll just flash away. Snared them both. I still probably die here though. Yeah, I mean it goes to Pantheon, that kind of sucks. We got his flash at least. Mid 14 minute. I stayed too pushed. There was really nothing for me to get once I didn't have mana. At least I have TP to get back to the lane. I mean, you could go for Morello. Morello is a weird item to buy though. It's crazy how cheap it is or wait we're going for malignance what am i talking about what item am i building here oh yeah i'm going malignance it's just morello is so cheap for a second there i got confused what item i was actually rushing wait, wait a minute still have a decent cs advantage pantheon got a fat shutdown though i think yeah it got an extra it's like he killed more than two people Get with the Q. I don't have a ward, but I do have my E up. Auto Q, auto. Auto Q. Couldn't quite reach it. Got on with the Q again. Q, R, auto. Got him. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> He's like, there's no way. He's like, yeah, buddy. I got the damage. 
classic trend mains not using their R, saving it for next game. They cut it really close down to the wire, hoping to maximize the value. That's bonus first turret gold, which is an extra 150. And I think breaking turret gives 400 the plate. Yeah, screw this chick. Dash turret auto cute. This is awkward. The sons of guns just won't die. They heal so much when you kill one of them. It's really weird. Trin still does have R here. I haven't seen Hellblade Zinzao mid since I haven't played Zel Hellblade Zinzao mid. It's a rare pick to see. Alright, we'll E on over. Get him with the W. Walk in behind. Drop the Q auto. Down he goes. Uh, I can float back up top. I'll max my W second E last. Diana's right here. Got with the W auto Q. Nice. I tanked the first shot. Made it easy for my melees to do stuff. I have to go back top. I do have my R to handle Trin with. He is full Fury though. It's kind of annoying. Wow. Why are my both my teammates coming? They should. Someone should have stayed for the plate. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, I can't go in too early. Auto R. Q auto. Got with the snare. We get on with the slow. Oof, the slow actually missed there. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, no comment. I missed my Qs and missed his W. <laughs> that was messy. At least Trin didn't get our whole turret right. That's the bright side. I'll go ahead and finish pushing this real quick and then I'll leave my lane because I'm sitting on Malignant. There's no reason to really hang out over here. I'm going to hold on to my W. Use that more defensively. Psych! I don't want to miss all those minions. Not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll look for the recall. We can grab Malignants. We can get... Why a bit, actually? I mean, we could even pick up Morello here if we really want to. I don't think Morello's necessarily the right choice. It's really begging to be purchased, though. I could go for a Mesh, since we're so fed. Got my Dark Seal, too. <clears throat> up a little bit of CS on Tran. He looks like he wants to play that split push angle. He went for Merc Treads. That's so funny. My team, full AD other than me and Nami. I guess I shouldn't even show here. Got with the Q auto. We speed up into him. Get him with the W. Miss the W. Miss the Q. Feels bad. I need to group here. The team is having a really strange fight. I'm not. I'm so far away. Dang, that stinks. Whatever. Hmm. Get him with the Q W auto. Get him with an R Q auto E. Flash W auto Q. <clears throat> we kill Lux here. She's tier one boots. I'll go this way. She's looking for a plant or something. With the QW, down she goes. Thank you very much. May gusta, may gusta. Pantheon's scary. You could actually one tap me here. He does. He crits you with his Q if you're below 20% health. Just push the wave real quick. EW, he's snared for the Zen. I get him with slow. Oof, Zen didn't quite connect there. So he flashed, but. Pantheon tried to get him on the turret. We'll just break his turret, whatever. Is what it is. I have my R. Ooh, Zen got it. Cool. We'll take it. <clears throat> nice, 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 nice. I have TP. I don't think I need... Well, you know what? 
I'm not gonna let Trin get my turret. He can suck a fat knot. I'll even pick up Mesh here. Yeah, you're not gonna get my turret, buddy. Boop. <clears throat> I love this alacrity, man. The alacrity with attack speed feels so good. When you play Lissandra without it, you don't have enough attack speed to pressure properly with autos. EWQ auto R. He's low. He kind of has to back now. I mean, even if we don't kill him here, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Get her with a Q. Nice, nice, nice. Like, like I said, Trin's low here. It's a speed up for us. Oh, Zen didn't hit it. Turd burglar. Even with an EWQ. Fishing autos on his forehead. He flashes away. That's fine. We got something mid going on here. My R is about to be back up. Only 60 second cooldown because of the malignance. 25 or ultimately 45 ability haste for R in total. Go ahead and E to get to her. She's 429. I need vision of her. I had her cut off on the wall and she jumps to raptors. I'll run it tight. My teammates can run it wide. I think she's going deeper, yeah. She's just she's like, come on now. EWQ auto. Goodbye, Diana. Well played, dude. High CS count, Diana, over here. She's really worried about her CS count. She's willing to put her life on the line for it. Smolder needs to rotate. Smolder's not going to rotate. Go ahead and EWQ auto. I don't need an R yet. Auto him down. Walk him down. There we go. We can just stay mid. Shove it in. Jarvan should go start the Herald. I can rotate. Boop. Boop. Uh, there's no reason for me to take that. I got this plant right here. Auto QW. Kind of want to save my turret. He should. Re he really should have stayed for that. He was nervous. I guess he didn't want to die again. Auto Q auto. Alrighty. He gets away. It is what it is. We're moving really fast. 407 is pretty quick for Lissandra. For a 325 base movement sweet champion. Tied for the lowest in the game with people like Anivia, Caitlyn, Tristana, Kindred. 325 is as low as it gets, unless you're Kled off your horse moving away from enemy champions. In which case, I think Kled's like 280 or 250. It's a silly thing to even say out loud because when Kled's in little mode, he's almost always pressing forward towards enemy champions. And in that case, he's actually one of the fastest champions in the game. So it's pretty much irrelevant. Oh, you got him off his horse. He's slower now. No, no, no. He's, he's just faster. He's moving towards. He's getting it back on his horse. So that's what makes that champion so one-dimensional. He's, he's forced to play a certain way, and you know he's going to play that way. Uh, I mean, very. it's kind of like playing against Garen, almost. He, I'd say he phase rush Garen. is even more dynamic than a Kled. He's going to R. Again, with an R, auto, QW. Walk him down, get him with the Q. We wait till he starts his jump animation, stand still. He has a travel time on his jump, of course, so we just hover cursor. Boop. <clears throat> I'm surprised they don't surrender. They think they're gonna scale. <laughs> I'll say you guys scaling or what? <laughs> what are they? They think we're gonna fall off or something. Keystones aren't as important as people think. It's really more about the items. Oof, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Almost just died. Diana CS though, yeah. In goes Diana. I'm not really there. Good knock up by Nami. That Nami knock up saved the day there big time. I should really go for the Zonis next in Narabadon. I don't know why I have a blasting lawn. I'll probably just sell it. Get my uh, item that I actually need. 
We need dragon. I don't know what's going on. We're still playing for the turret there. I'd rather just get the dragon. That way we could get the next one faster and get soul faster. Lissandra jungle would be good if her clears were a little bit better. Like she, she'd have crazy ganks. Auto Q, get him with the R, auto, auto Q, W. I knew his dash was on cooldown, so I wasn't in a hurry to snare him. He wasn't going to go anywhere. I'll cycle my other abilities first. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I wasted my W. Thank goodness she doesn't have flash. They're not even typing in all chat. They just, they're hunkering down. They really want to win this game. When the enemies are hard losing, they're not typing in all chat. They're giving it their all. Lux is in the area. She's warding the Baron. Oh yeah, here she is. Oh, she got me. Diana's taking more camps. That scumbag. She even killed the Zin there. Lux is still in the area, by the way. Yep. WQ auto. I'll save R for next game. I don't need it to kill Lux. Let's just take Baron. Baron's the move here. Or not. I don't know what's, what's happening here. Two of them are dead. Their jungler's dead. They have no smite. I have R. They can't really. If they step up for this, they're just dead. Honestly. They can't step for it. We, even if we lose a turret, we all get 300 gold here. Plus the buff. Zin needs to go defend bot side. He's AFK. Get Pantheon with an R. Q. Boop. He almost got a kill there. That's crazy. I mean, I could go Rod of Aegis into Rabadon. Only going Rod here because I already had Blasting Wand, which was a mistake. Uh, and I also don't want to throw my Mesh stack. So having a little bit of health could probably save me. And we can negate going Zhonya's all together here. But the core of the build really is just... Uh, First item rush malignance or first item rush rob, uh, rod of ages. Everything besides that is completely situational. Storm surge is good on her. Voice staff is good on her. Luna's companion is good on her. She's got loads and loads of loads and loads and loads and loads of options. It's more about the overall play style, weaving in the autos and the Q spam. Oops, I wasn't trying to take that. Hey, Diana, she's fast. I don't have my R either, so that was just unlucky timing. Get her with the R, W, Q. I walk away. Uh, I got him with the W. We're chilling and grilling, baby. No clue where that guy went. <laughs> He's disappeared. No clue. Oh, he's in the area, I think. Well, the Krogs were gone. Could have just been Diana, I guess. Yeah, it's just Diana. She's taking everything. Diana's the fa fastest farming mid-game, late-game jungler in the game. <sighs> One Q wipes backliners. That's a wild. My R is almost back up too. It's only a 58 second cooldown. I don't know if this is worded or not. Does someone have oracles here? Why, why are my teammates not in the bush right now? Huh. All right, this is a bad place for us to be. We have a dead teammate. We need to just take camps, pull back out. I think they might be going for Zen. Oh, they're going for Zen. Save my Zen, Zal. 
Flash R, Auto WQ, Auto Q, got with the slow. Nice, nice. Our team has so much follow up with this in Jarvan. If I ever do anything, they can get in instantly. Or like vice versa, if they, if they do anything, I can get in pretty quick. Not quite as fast as they can, but still. Fast enough. Let's get the inhibs. Take them down, boys. Once they lose triple inhibs, they'll get smothered. It dumps two supers down each wave instead of just one super each. It is the nail in the coffin. Recovering from three inhibs is tremendously challenging. You gonna do, boy? Why are we still over here? I want to leave. I want dragon. I really thought about taking that there. That looks so juicy. All right, I'm coming. All right, we just need one more drag for Soul. They think they're going to scale right now. Pantheon won't. Conquer Diana honestly won't. Like, sure, she's getting a lot of camps, so she's got decent gold spent, but in terms of full build versus full build, she's, her scaling's not that great. We'll go for Zanya's next. We have the little stopwatch. It's no longer stopwatch. It's Seeker's Arm Garden. The geniuses over at Riot decided to change effectively change the picture and the name for stopwatch uh, even though it was used for many seasons bit of a bummer so yeah it's just seeker's arm guard now it's a single use we'll get the zonis it's effectively the same thing is red buff up oh no it's not i guess we're just waiting on baron right now Let me pop this over here. They don't have a whole lot of vision. We might be able to just end as is while they're messing with all the minions. They're going to get a, a very big short-term boost of gold and XP from all these minions. All right, let's just get Baron. There's nothing to fight for. They're clearing these waves fast enough. They have a lot of damage. Pantheon AoE, Trend AoE off the Ravenous and Spin. Diana AoE on her Audison Q. Lux AoE and then just Ezreal, so... Every one of them is clearing the minions pretty quickly. The bright side is they can't push out and contest Baron whatsoever. Which is also a bit of a downside because we're so far ahead of that. If they did push out to contest, we'd clobber them. <laughs> if they were foolish enough to truly contest. Auto Q auto. Having this much attack speed is so funny. For Lissandra. Now we group an N. Should have the supers to do it. Baron buff supers are three or four times as tough. I don't have my E, dang it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't get an assist. Whatever. This is going to be a hard way for them to kill. Get him with an R, QW, there goes his R. And that, my friends, is G. Gone with the snare. He still got his jump off, though. That is GG's. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game by a decently wide margin. I'm happy with that. Surprise, Zinn was the second most in the game. For damage taken, we were middle-ish of the pack, self-mitigated, low middle-ish, and for runes, high value. All in all, Vassandra top, pretty strong. She absolutely abuses the crap out of immobile melees, or even melees who have dash she does quite well against because of her snare and her slow spam. One of my uh, 
one of my favorite at the moment off meta picks. If you guys enjoyed this Lissandra video, let me know what champion you guys want to see next. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.